April showers bring May flowers, so let's head to Red Hill Park for a special celebration. You can call it a revival of a familiar landmark, what was once known as Red Hill Lake at the Red Hill Park here in Rancho Cucamonga has now been renamed and reopened as the Red Hill Water Feature. What a beautiful lake, but now we're going to refer to it as a water feature because it has a purpose. It stood for years as a picturesque backdrop that many had used for their keepsake photos, but the combination of funding challenges for its upkeep caused the lake to be drained and closed in 2014, only to now be brought back to life much to the delight of local officials. We have rededicated this water feature, uh, and it's hard for me not to call it a lake because that's what I've always referred to it as. But if you look behind me, that this, this water feature now is here to serve a purpose, not only for people to have wedding pictures and family photos. The unique new aspect to the water feature will be the use of recycled water that will be part of the park's normal irrigation system. But the revival of the water feature will also prime the pump for local businesses as you can be sure, local photographers and videographers will once again flock to Red Hill in order to capture the special moments for local residents celebrating their special occasions. It's wonderful watching the evolution of this, of this park go from um, being vital and then on hiatus for just a short time to get repaired and then to come back full, full force and beautiful again as if it never left. It really is beautiful to see the, um, the effects of this park. Under some Chamber of Commerce weather, the Red Hill Water Feature saw a nice turnout of residents who were quite pleased to see this old familiar face return to the community with a new look and a new purpose. And you can be sure that the reopening of this water feature will create a new and special buzz about an old familiar landmark and possibly spark more life into our local economy. For RC Spotlight, this is J.R. Ibarra.